Magab, everybody, and welcome to Kiss Wednesday. And Bjorn Rue Nelson uh, donated for me to do this track by track. A band called X Japan with the album called Blue Blue Blood <clears throat> versus the most overrated Kiss album, in my opinion, Kiss Revenge. All right. Um, I did this X Japan. I think it was Bjorn that asked me to do it. I, I put that against the Kiss album before. And, uh, man, I like this X Japan album even more. I thought it was really good. It did, a, you know, but I'm not a fan of their ballads. Their ballads do nothing for me. And I'm not a ballad hater. Anyway, let's get this started with the first song, Pro Prologue, which is a cool instrumental. It's kind of regal sounding. I dig it. Going against Unholy, which is the best song on the album, Unholy Rules. I saw that video, I was like, I need to get this Kiss album. This shit is awesome. Then I heard the rest. All right, but I'm giving that to Unholy, because Unholy rules. All right, next. Blue Blood versus Take It Off. Man, Blue Blood, ripping tune. Awesome song. Take It Off, not so much. I'm giving that one to X Japan. Next, Weekend. I'm not a fan of this one, to be honest with you. And that's going against Tough Love, which I don't like this song either. But I'm going to give it to Kiss on this one. Yeah, Tough Love. Maybe the first time Tough Love's ever won on a track like that. Next, Easy Fight Rambling. This is a rockin' tune. And it's not stupid like Spit. Oh my God, what a stupid ass song. That loses. Give it out to X Japan. All right, next. A song called X. And damn, this one is fast and ripping. I love it. And that's going against God Gave Rock and Roll to You. And damn, this one sucks hard. It loses. And give that to X Japan. Next. Endless Rain. See, here's the ballad. I don't care for it. And that's going against Domino. I can't believe this crappy song is going to win. Can't believe it. Domino's terrible. But I'm going to give it to Domino. All right, next. Kurenai. Uh, this song starts mellow, but then it kicks much ass. And this is going against Heart of Chrome, which is really the only Paul song I like on this album. And it still loses. I'm giving that to X Japan. Next. Exclamation. Uh, it is a strange instrumental, but some parts are really cool. Going against Thou Shall Not, probably the best song on Revenge. I'm giving that one a Revenge. All right, next, Orgasm. Kick-ass song. Going against Every Time I Look At You. Suck-ass song. It loses. Extra Pan wins. Next, Celebration. This one's catchy. You know, it's kind of rocking, you know, commercially. It's not bad. Uh, going against Paralyzed. Uh, this one's not good. It loses. I'm giving that to X Japan. Next, Rose of Pain. This song is an 11 minute epic metallic tune. It gets heavy and then fast and then heavy. Awesome. Going against I Just Wanna. Epic suckage on this one. That's right. Her terrible song. I'll tell you a little story in case some of you don't know. Some guy that was managing that was managing Kiss during the Revenge era, you know, when they released Unholy the single, the guy called up Gene a little while later and said, "All right, second single is gonna be Domino," and Gene said, "Uh, you can't do that." He's like, "Why not?" Paul will get angry. You gotta use a Paul song. So, <coughs> according to him, <coughs> I just wanna. They released that, you know, for Paul. And it, and he said it sunk the album. And by the time they released Domino, it didn't really do much. But I don't know. I, I, I can't see Domino do much. Even if that was the second single. But either way, I just want to suck. Sucks. Giving that to Rose of Pain. Next. It's the last song, Unfinished. Again, it's this ballad I can't get into. Going against Car Jam 81. 
I think this song sucks. I mean, I no disrespect to Eric Carr, but I did hear an interview on on YouTube of Eric Carr talking about, oh, I recorded a drum solo during The Elder, and it sucks. I don't like it at all. And I'm like, I agree. I mean, I don't think it's a bad drum solo, but God damn, is it forgettable. I just don't care for it. And then you take out Ace Frehley's playing and put in Bruce Kulik. Uh, it probably would have been better with Ace musically, if you ask me. But anyway, Bjorn, there's a final score! And as you can see, uh, Blue Blood won! Thank you so much, Bjorn. You rule, my friend. And everybody out there as well, please, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, ring that little notification bell. Leave your comments below if you know X Japan, Blue Blood, and... Uh, Kiss Revenge. I'd like to know what you, uh, what you think. And like the video. That'd be awesome. For the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. And smack them a gob.